All right, so let's let's officially kick it off. Uh, so this is the Dragon X Championship League tournament, RTA tournament. Uh, first things first, big thank you for uh, to Epic Seven and the global community managers for allowing us to do this and actually sponsoring the tournament. So we are playing for a prize pool of six thousand five hundred Skystone. Uh, first place of this tournament uh, being a two-day tournament will have uh, 3,500 Skystone for the first place prize 2,000 for the second place and then the uh, third place gets 1,000 I do have a special uh, I guess not a surprise, but just a bit of a viewer kickback for you guys, uh, you know supporting my channel um, so later on I will be releasing a link uh, You just need to sign up and uh, you have a chance to win two, 220 Skystone. It's not much, but I want to give it back a bit. Um, only five, pl five players, sadly, will be able to, to have it. So, um, But anyways, I'll release the link later. And uh, you just fill the form. Uh, it's very easy to fill out. And uh, we'll roll that after the, this portion of the tournament. So let me just explain what's happening today. As you see on the bracket, um, it's not in a quote-unquote bracket form. This is technically prelims. Um, these will these matchups will be best out of three, and the eight winners after today will move on to tomorrow's event, which is the double elimination bracket, which will only be one round. Okay, and then that will set up for the for the final. So, um, first things first, we do have uh, the first matchup. Uh, no life whale and amp ready so we can actually kick it off right now um, I'm gonna hit start and we're gonna transition there into the, uh, the actual fight Right so People know amp to be a sort of a memer So this is gonna be uh, quite interesting Basar ban on amp side, okay. F10 e first pick. If amp doesn't pick Gaither, I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> okay, so we're going we're going full tryhard. We're going full tryhard. Not bad. So still the spec tenny pick with the G Pergus. Ooh! Context of that is the C army got a dev buff recently, so the damage mitigation is no longer locked to crit. Um, that could be very interesting and 100% provoke. So that's gonna be very interesting here. Let Landy pick for the AOE. So maybe a general Purgus ban at this point. I'm. Uh, I want to see the C army actually in action. Briar Witch, okay. Alright, so Briar Witch, very good counter against Landy and Sea Armor together. Hmm. So the Spec Tenny right now is not a big threat, because Landy most likely on Guiding Light. Alencia for double strip, hmm. And then defense buff. Okay, so far, so far I think uh, No Life Whale's draft is pretty strong. Dilla bet on this one. I wonder if it does really, really good damage. I've been kind of, been kind of seeing her damage being lack for some very bruisery comps, but this one's like a mix and an RB last pick. I've not seen Amp's RB yet, so this will be the first time. Kron last pick here. Okay, Amp already went in knowing which one he wanted to pre-ban. So yeah, he pre-banned General Perigus, that's what I thought, but the F10E... 
Yeah, it probably makes the most sense there. Get rid of the opening speed contester. That's fast. Wait, wait, wait. That's fast. <laughs> okay, and then with the CR boost and then the uh, the speed buff right away, he gets all the turns. Okay, that Spectani is dead. Wow. Okay, that ended quick. Too immortal, but then... Okay, I'm surprised he didn't go for the S3. Oh, right, he can't. Because the reset. Ah, okay, I think that is, well, we'll see, we'll see. If he could kill the, kill the ML a little bit. No, he can't. Too tanky. Now this strip, it won't do much. I think it is a GG. Yeah, that's, that was clean. That was cleave. C Armin too. Okay, it did not, it did not strip the C armament either. Yeah, that is a GG. GG, very clean, very quick. Very, very nice. Alright, so we got amp, uh, one win up. Uh, whenever, uh, no life whale is ready, we can, uh, start the second round. So, again, best of three. So, if no life whale can now rethink the draft and uh, amp's potential then uh, he's got a shot uh, if you guys are ready uh, let's do it when the landing is faster than your CR push. that's crazy that was really good uh, I'm assuming 240 250 landy based on the speed tuning of no life whales fastest hero okay now we got a uh, pre band G Perugius okay so Amp doesn't want to lock himself into a potential to run into G Perugus again. And now he takes F10. -E. Dilibet, okay. So straight up that red counter. RB pick is a pretty solid one right here, but the uh, amp can still bulk up or try to again get the first turn. Ooh, Operator Secret? Okay, so that must be a fast one to be chosen here. See Armin again? Okay. So based on the speed on the previous round, the C Armin wasn't super fast to get the immunity up. Thanks for the follow, Artland. I'm all haste here. More damage mitigation. Uh, meme mode, yes I did. Thank you. See, Yamin is back. I think she has great potential after the dev buff. 100% uh, provoke on the S1. So it makes her in the annoyance level as FCC. And then the 15% uh, fifteen percent damage reduction, uh, no matter what type of damage. So it's pretty solid uh, on paper, but I want to see her in practice. Okay, so we got a cleave. Okay, No Life Will changed up the entire style. Okay, that Politis is a huge one to get rid of on this fight. So it's a matter of sustain. Thank you for the sub deke. It's a matter of sustain on Amp's part. Okay, 
Okay, that's... That polish just seems to be pretty quick there on the CR timeline. But yeah, that's uh... That's not uh, looking good for Amp right away. Well, I have to say the damage mitigation is pretty good. That C Armin. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't just straight up try to. Oh, uh, no, it's, I think it's over. It's over. Okay, so No Life Will had definitely uh, something up his sleeve. Very good, very good fight, very good fight. Totally different strategy, and it really worked. Back to back cleaves. Yeah, that's good. I really like that, man. That's spicy. I thought cleave meta was dead. Oh yeah, these guys are definitely showing the uh, variety and the flexibility of their drafting style. That's very good. Very good to see. Alright, we got the last round, guys. So this one will be the determining factor between which one of these guys make it onto the round tomorrow. <laughs> you clearly need to make more cleave counters. Imagine if we did do the... Uh, what do you call it? The um, three three pre ban thing? That that would be too crazy. I I don't I don't think any cleaver can make it through with three heroes pre banned. Uh no, we don't alternate first pick. Um, I'm letting it to be random right now. You banned F10 -E? Oh. And your FCC was. Okay, you get it. Okay, so we're back to. Okay. Back to similar. What? At the end? Get over here, little fatty. Thanks for the, thanks for the gift of subs emblem. That's hype, man. Thank you. Okay, RB right away. So stole the RB. So RB was pretty strong in Amp's draft in uh, round one. <laughs> that was so funny. Ends with, get over you little fatty. Alright, so what's going on in No Life Will's mind right now? Don't come near me. Okay, yeah, taking the Spectanias, right? Oh! Oh man, okay, everybody's got that ML cigarette ready, man. Okay, so this is gonna be... Must be a fast opener as well. Uh, General Purgus looks to be banned again. So that means No Life Will has to start drafting, somehow forcing him to keep the General Purgus in to his advantage. That's gonna be good. Oh, thanks for the sub. Holy crap, man. Woo! Thanks, Nixie. Athletica response. Okay, right, so this is just like people big Ding speed. Whoa. All right. Okay, I actually I actually think like right now it's pretty tough to choose who to ban. It just it does not feel like a ladder draft, which is really good. ML haste. Okay, so he keeps the RB, but how does he kill the RB if he bans him all haste? F Cleary banned, and an F Tenny banned. I remember Amp's Vivian, I don't know if he changed it, but I mean, I think everybody here is loaded with speed, it's just who gets the first turn. Ah, see that Vivian was really close. But not quick enough. I don't cheer. Hmm. Yeah, that's tough. So that was a pure speed contest. Okay, 
勝します。Yeah, I think this one. I think this one is pretty much over. I think No Life Will got this one. Got attack buff, but then he can't break. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. He can't. Oh, that was that hits hard. Oh, GG. It is over. Very good. Very good display of.、Uh, Of drafting skill, that was just crazy. I think, I think honestly, both sides、uh, draft is so unusual that it was honestly gear. But that was really good. All right, so we got the first round. First round done.、Uh, let me swap over to the.、Uh, The、results here. Ooh, that was spicy, man. I actually have the adrenaline pumping right now. So no life will does win the first round. Um, <clears throat> congrats. Yes, I'm, I'm recording all this. I'm weak to ghetto clean. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of breath. That was a that was a real sports show. Hey, it's a real sporting event, man. Esports. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna set up the next round. So Stone Thunder and Tatsuni, we're gonna go with you guys、uh, as the next next fight. And yes, I am going to I am gonna have it still random in terms of first pick.、Uh, so yeah, we're just waiting for Tatsuni here. Bring back Counter Sermia. Yeah. Te okay. So Tatsuni was、uh, was pretty good at driving some of this like new tech. Remember when Ambitious Tywin was bad? <laughs> And Tatsu actually built him. <laughs> And won. Yeah, I think he he won with like my last tournament.、Uh, in my last tournament, I think with Counter Ambitious Tywin before buff. So. Okay, FCC pre-ban, one of my favorites, and ML Tywin pre-ban. All right, so Stone Thunder does not want to be pinned down. Yeah, Devsu. Yeah, the counter DN tech was really good too. On Tatsu's part. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Tatsu is done. Or even if he's playing on the phone, I mean, wait, no, no one's gonna judge. It's just it's gonna be a while till he can wipe. <clears throat> Rowana steal on this one. Interesting. LQC straight up for damage mitigation and wait. I actually don't know what Tatsuni's OQC looks like right now. It could be counter still. It was counter before. I don't know. Okay, we got a Green Pergus. Green Pergus. All right. So Green Pergus is actually legit cancer, especially if you spam AOE on him. But I mean, we have an immunity buffer on Tatsuni's side, so. Wait, no, really? Is he is he considering Gino or Zeno? <laughs> I hope he's banning ML Crow. So right now, I think on Stone Thunder side, the band、uh, ML Crow and Briar Wish seem to be pretty safe. Um, Gunther. Okay, okay. Gunther for what? Just and rid. Okay, ignore the anti crit. Okay, so we have uh we have Emma Luluka on the last one here. I think Emma Luluka or Last Rider Crow ban on Stone Thunder side. I think. And I don't know about the Rowana. Ah, Green Pergus is out. Yeah, Last Rider Crow banned. 
Why not go? <laughs> All right, so at least we get some spicy stuff. Okay, wait, what? What are those speeds? Wait. Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. So Stone Thunder has everybody pretty slow. All slower than SSB. Don't take your eyes off me. Okay, so Arby's dead. Arby's dead, right? Yeah, that does so much damage. You're not bad. You're oh, wait, he went for... for wait, 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 wait. He went for SSB? Oh, wait, does he have souls now? No? So he was sober in LQC, but I guess he's not afraid of getting cleaved. Oh, that Gunther just melted. Okay, that's what he went for. 14,000, so it's DJ and RB. Yeah, but based on the speed, we could tell that by right away. And then Briar Witch can't really miss. It is a counterattack. No, but I think... Yeah, I think Tatsuni is still too healthy here. We still have a barrier. Tatsu free to play. Yeah, no, it's over, it's over. So the Rowana, yeah, the Rowana steal, I think, on Stone Thunder's part, was probably the... Was probably what, uh, what... I, gu I guess hindered his draft. He, uh, stole that one too quick. But GG, GG. So first one goes to Tatsu. Yeah, GG. I want to see. Uh, I want to see uh, Stone Thunder's favorite. Are you gonna go all out, Stone Thunder? You go with your uh, favorite draft. Let's go. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So, again, best of three. We'll see if Stone Thunder picks a different type, different type of uh, strategy. Now, you guys don't know. Stone Thunder's got some crazy stuff sometimes. For people who who know him, he's a, he's quite a meme RTA player. But when he wins, it's it's very very interesting. All right, so okay, so ambitious Tywin pre ban again, and an F Tenny pre ban on Tatsu's part. So I think so I think in that case, I think Tatsu wants to try out something new, completely show off something new. Okay, this is I love this man. I love this. This is very entertaining. We got Carmain Rose. <laughs> this is this is what these uh, tournaments are really good good for. Yeah, so Tatsu banning that F10 he told me that he's going for a draft that requires her not being able to be picked. So that's why I was like guessing he's gonna try something new. So this is very cool. RB Rose Lilius and in the previous RB ML Haste FCC interesting and then Judith all right I think I think I think we know what's going to happen here so how does Tatsu react to this SSP, okay. SSP pretty solid here, so yeah, FCC for sure. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I just realized something here. Okay, so obviously Stone Thunder is now going for a Lilius Cleave. But, okay, no, he got the, he got the turn. He got the turn, he got the turn. It could be too late, but I think that's probably why the SSB draft, just to prevent this. Wait, 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 what? Wait, is the Carmine Rose not even dead? Hold on, I'm actually quite surprised. Wait, no Ibrus tooth? Or is it procking? Oh, procked after. 
How the heck? Wait, how did Carmen Rose survive? So Lilius Cleave, uh, Stone Thunder's Lilius isn't bad. It's like really high crit damage. I'm actually surprised. I don't know how she's alive. I'm was, I was surprised. I'm I was, I was super surprised. Okay, so this is the gear diff. I, I'm actually surprised. I actually thought Stone Thunder just won. Okay, so now without the actual damage dealer, uh, there's going to be an issue. Well, well, we'll see how it goes. The immunity on the SSB right now is going to mess up. Because ideally he could have stunned, maybe. 50-50 chance. We out? This is something. GG, man. GG. No, it was worth it. It was worth it. But wow, I'm actually surprised. I thought you got that one. I thought it, all of those was a speed contest. No defense buff up. How did they survive? And I want to see this Carmaine Rose though. 13,000 HP? Oh right, because it's it's both. It's Aureus and uh, Blood Moon Haste's uh, passive. So that's probably the reason. GG. GG. Good show, good show. So there, there is yes. I forgot. I forgot to uh, take in Blood Moon Haste damage mitigation. So that was probably what was the big game changer. That was pretty good. But no, I do respect. Yeah, Stone Thunder definitely big respects to actually you know pull off that comp and actually uh, try it out. So Tatsu was very very confident with his uh, with his gear here. All right, so we're gonna go back to the uh, go to bracket here. So that one was a uh, quick clean win with Tatsuni. Is the mitigation only active on S3 CD? Oh, it's off CD? Oh, it's okay. It's when it's active. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because yeah, that's what... Yeah. Alright, so we got the next uh, set. We got... Uh, Death suit. What is... What is what is Lancer doing in the room? I'm gonna kick him. I'm gonna kick him. <laughs> I'm kicking him. So uh, we got some uh, little trolls infiltrating. All right. So uh, next is Defsu versus Elf Mage. All right. Are you guys ready? So I'm gonna set you guys up. Once you guys see you guys are ready, we'll transition into the game screen. You wanted to watch? Watch on stream, you scrub. <laughs> No, no. So, so, so some of the some of the people I didn't DM. I, I thought I could trust them, but it's okay. It's not like they're messing up anything. But I just didn't want them in the in the room. All right, it looks like we are ready. Trusting Iggy, I know, I know. I you, you guys saw me when I when I posted the password. I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I should have done that, but it's okay. F. Clary first pick. One of my favorite first picks in this season, but obviously every first pick has a flaw. Wow, okay, that's really quick. These guys have their fingers right on the pulse. So... Alright, Defsu doing this for the win, okay. It's good, it's good. Yeah, intense draft. <laughs> yeah, right off the bat, it was like doo, 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 doo. so quick. So the Elf Mage spec Tenny second pick. So now, now I do know Elf Mage made top twenty RTA, and Elf Mage is representing their new guild, uh, called Condemned. So big shout out to them. He made top twenty. So he knows what he's doing, but okay, so we got a Lilius pick on this one. Are you out of breath, old man? Yeah, yeah, I'm out of breath. Exciting. SSB. Holiday, you fiend. You know, the tail end of this, I uh, I started seeing Holiday, you fiend being more and more used. I think it's a reactionary thing to Bizarre, but also just. Uh, constant AOE. The S1 is elemental neutral, so it does hit ice. But selecting that here, 
I guess it's for the Briar Witch. So he's keeping the Briar Witch in. If Elf Mage is confident with the speed contest, maybe General Purgus out. Or Last Rider Crow. Oh, F Cleary. Okay, so F Cleary out. People draft her into S10, -E, right? Because constant AoE, right? <clears throat> okay, so we don't have the barrier here, but we do have all first turn. So that SCR boost is, will bypass General Purgus' uh, passive. So Elf Mage will still get a couple turns. That's very hard nuking. I wonder how tanky that SSB is. But that's a high damage, very high damage Emma Luluka. Okay, he doesn't choose to do the S2. Okay, so maybe strip the attack buff. Ooh, lucky as well. Since the S1 ignores damage here. So the SSB is already out. Okay, the ML Kraut is very tanky though. Look into my eyes. Say my name. <laughs> You're calling it Doom for Death Suit? Okay, well, you'd be surprised at Holiday Yuffie's damage. That's nine, okay, 9,400 HP, so it was built for damage. Oh, so I think the S10 here is dead. 28,000 HP, Last Rider Crowl. Not on portrait, most likely on adamant. Ooh, yeah, she's dead. And then we got the stun on every. Well, no, 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 no. Definitely, uh, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Oh, just by a sliver. Okay, so. So this is not looking good for Elf Mage for round one. Okay, that looks like a GG. Good job, Death Suit, on this fight. GG GG, very good display. So it looked like Elf Mage had the upper hand, but that Holiday Yuffie can hit hard. Yeah, that's what I realized that uh, the tail end of the season, like people start building Holiday Yuffie, she can hit really hard. Yeah. All right. So I'll give you guys like a, a couple seconds here to rethink if needed, but otherwise, yes, you guys are both ready. Uh, we can start off round two. Round two. Good luck, guys. Yeah, Hufin still needs a buff, Kappa. I think I think she was underused, but then with the the Golden Boys, Basar being you know one of the top picks, Holiday Yufin was was theory crafted, and uh, again, very very good. I am curious though, are they going to buff her? So same first picks, same first picks. So we're gonna get a, a repeat. All right. So from picks three to three to five, we're probably gonna see some change. Since this season, I felt Tom Auto Luka been falling off extremely hard. So Tom Auto Luka is pretty strong, not as a RB counter directly, but uh, as a last pick resort. If you know you can outspeed your enemy draft, she's pretty solid still. Um, she's just not like the kind of like the third pick type hero in Ardor season at least. Okay, so the Ruel, the Ruel pick here is uh, is pretty strong. So I mean, either the Ruel gets banned from Defsu's point of view, or he out damages it. And right now he is already lacking some damage. So FCC or Ruel ban, I think, on Defsu's part. Okay, a Ross for more damage mitigation. So now, no matter what, Elf Mage needs another source of damage on his last pick. Whereas Defsu, yeah, has for potentially four damage picks. So then that Ruel could be kept in and FCC removed. I don't know. It's one of those two, I think. Briar Witch again. So I think the okay SSB. So took out the took out the the one I would say the main source of damage 
which is what I did think that would be the the weakness of Elf Mage's draft. But we'll see. So with Raz immobilized, we don't get the death break, but he's still very sustainy right now, so this could be a slow grind game. But right now it doesn't seem to be a there's doesn't seem to be, seem to be a clear winner. Thank you for the gifted sub sour pie. Yeah, that stun on Briar Witch is huge, I agree. So now Elf Mage has the decision, does he cleanse? Yeah, I assume he cleanse Raz here. Kind of try to get that death buff up as fast as possible. But Ruel is still a very strong pick. He did get rid of SSB, which I think honestly is the best here. We don't want that con consistent AoE damage. This is feeling more like uh, Artist Season Draft. <laughs> yeah, well, once he takes out the- once he's- whoa, wait, 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 that does a lot of damage, hold on. Wait. That does a lot of damage. So yeah, once he takes out the Landy, it's- I think it's over for Defsu, but we'll see. Okay, so that Guiding Light really helped there. Very lucky. Yeah, it just proc in time. Yeah, that was a clutch moment there. If it did not proc, I think... I think there's not much uh, Defsu can do. Yeah, that barrier is very thick from FCC. The soul burn. Oh, onto Ruel. Yeah, that is honestly the the win condition here. Ruel taken out. Why don't you just surrender? Oh yeah, no, she's she's gone here with a death break. So definitely not over yet. But no guiding light reproc. Um. I wonder if you I wonder if he'll do the uh no he probably won't he probably has the S1. Get rid of the speed buff. Oh wait, he had the hold on. Yeah, that does a lot of damage after death break. Like a lot of damage. 9000 HP, so it's pure damage. No, still not over yet. Still not over yet. Uh, as a reminder, since I don't own Briar Witch, Briar Witch's Immo immortality does not recycle like K Rons, right? K Rons take like, what, like seven turns or whatever, but it's still possible to recycle his immortality. Briar Witch can't, right? She can? It can? Okay. So, I mean, if he times everything right, with skill null, with barrier, he can technically still actually recycle his immortality if he needs it. It does it faster, every 5 turns? Ah, I see, I see. And the fact that it's on Guiding Light too is pretty tough because then... Defsu is locked to only a couple turns. So sadly, there's no immunity or some kind of cleanse like a Lilius here, otherwise that Briar Witch would be a lot safer. Oh, 
Yeah, see, I really want Briar Witch. I think Bri this is a good showcase of why Briar Witch is good. Um, she's single-handedly being his damage dealer. Okay, once FCC is out, it's a bit dangerous. But I think that last Rider Cow could die here. This looks sketch for Elvish. Yeah, the FCC FCC was much needed. Wait, wait, was that Roz on the? Uh... It wasn't on Rise of Monarch, right? It is on Rise of Monarch. Okay, so this will save him. This will definitely save him. So wait, I think I think it's still possible that uh, Elf Mage got this win because of the Rise of Monarch. Uh, he has to keep hitting Roz and. It depends on the stun. It depends on the stun. Okay, so we'll see. Ooh! No, 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 no. No, that's not good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Guiding Light Clutch again? <laughs> wait, it's still not over yet. Guiding Light. Yeah, he's gotta pin it down. Oh! No! Wait. Okay, this one's like like my my butt is definitely at the ed edge of my my seat. Oh, oh, dude, I think I think it's over. I think it's over. I think I think Elf Mage gets this one, right? He's going for the death break. He didn't get it. He didn't get it. But he's dead. It's over. It's over. Woo! Elf made GG. Wow, that was a really, really good show. Wow, very good play. So the, so the game difference was the every single step Elf Mage made was like absolutely vital for his win. So that was very good, very good uh, endurance match. Yeah, very good, <laughs> impressive. So one to Defsu, one to Elf Mage. Oh, and then I. Uh, yeah, for sure. Like we're we're not. I mean, these guys are all top players here. Defsu in talentless, which is uh, ended up in one of the. I think it's like top top four, or top three, in Artist Season Guild War. Um, and Defsu is pretty strong, as you see here. Woo! Okay, this is really good. Let me get a drink of water, and then uh, but we'll continue on this next, the last deciding match. All right, here we go. Good luck guys, that was very good. So this one's a toss up, honestly. I think both players are equally experienced. Um, gears, the gear level, so far shown, pretty good. My cheeks were clenched with for that one. Mine were too. My, okay, so those first two picks, all right, Elven Mage, if I ever see you on ladder, I know who to ban. <laughs> and still consistent with Defsu as well. All right. So they got a working pattern here. And I definitely, I think this is a tip for like players who, who aren't really experienced in RTA yet. Like secure your way of playing first. Practice your draft. Don't go too crazy picking something new every single time. These players are showing it. Cerise pick on this one, interesting. <laughs> Pick golden boys every time if you have them. Ah, yeah, I mean that seems to be the the meme of uh, season three. But I mean there is truth to it. I mean those those uh, those golden boys really do too much. Vicious, thank you for the uh, compliment. I like the overlay and also for the sub. Thank you very much.
Dillabet. Dillabet, interesting. And then SSB. Okay. So now Elf Mage, I think. Hmm. So Def's still very aggro. So all his picks have been very aggro. Elf Mage been playing more like a half half. Thank you guys for the, the compliments. SSB band, yeah, that's probably the best one there. Get over here, little fatty. True swag, thank you for the follow. So Cerise opens and then F Clary to follow up. So unless it's FCC he wants to pin down, he is lowering his RNG by 15% uh, from the immunity check. So he's not going for it. Okay, he's gonna save it for the soul burn. 17,000 HP designer a little bit. So to maintain that, he's probably, I don't know, unless his gear level is that crazy. I don't think 2k defense, but maybe 1.9k. So yeah, it's too bulky to tell if that's low damage. But uh, from the numbers itself, it was relatively low damage. Yeah, the fight here is K-Ron and Last Rider Crawl. Once those are out, the game is over for Dev Suit. So this has to go through Skill Null. So he has to break it on that turn. And the immunity is important. Kiss my feet. I will step on you. So I don't know if he was gonna go for the S1 here. If he finds that beneficial, he'd probably just go for the S yeah, probably the S1. Not the S3. This is tough because he didn't get a turn before. Let's see if it's a- if it pulls K-Ron, let's see if it's Aliha's knife. So they could still do a lot of damage if it is. It didn't pull K-Ron. Okay, he can't- he can't wait for the soul burn. He had to go for it. Only the provoke. Yeah, okay, so Kron's dead here. But he might not even go for the K yeah, he went for the Kron. So right now he really needs that. He really needs that last rider crawl on speed buff. He needs to turn cycle this. Is that Defsu giving up? Alright, so it is a GG here. Thank you Defsu for uh, for ending that uh, good sportsmanship and good emote. <laughs> so Defsu, uh, so Elvmage makes it onto the, uh, into tomorrow's, in tomorrow's fight. Uh, let me set up the, uh, the next round. So next, uh, Malona is here. So Malona, you are next. Malona and Ewer. So you're from Asia as well, um, depending on where you live. I appreciate you being here. Uh, whenever you guys are ready. Sweet. Alright, looks like we're ready to go. So let's do this. So, Malona Top 20 RTA Season 3, I mean, for all the legend players here, like, big applaud to you guys, man. That was an uphill, very steep climb. As we saw the point threshold go up day by day, it was pretty nuts. So, definitely a big achievement. This is a formidable Don't come near. Malona going with the FCC first pick, and you're going for the Spec Tenny first pick. My guy, you're playing at like 4 a.m.? Is it 4 a.m.? <laughs> so like just yeah just the context oh remnant violet dick right, these guys are picking pretty quick 
RB Yeah, I had a couple Asia players have to draw because they was like, oh, what? The tournament's 4 a.m. It's like, I'm sorry. Otherwise, I did want to include some uh, players from Asia who also made Legend this season. It's 3.53 for you. You guys need sleep, man. Okay, door is very solid versus RB. The spec 10 e as well. But now he has sustain. He has barrier for Remnant Violet. Okay. Ah, okay. Got rid of the Landy. So that burst damage is definitely needed to go through Doris, go through two knights. He banned the A Tywin so he doesn't get pinned down. Which, yeah, I'm half half there for sure. Because he didn't know if he was going to ban the last Rider Crow. So Yuri is going for Toggle's Ancient Book, Politus as well. So he gets a double book right away. So that, uh, so Miss Remnant Violet. And this is not going to do too much here. The FCC, but the FCC is going to get, uh, could get cleansed. If needed. Yeah, very little risk here for Doris. She doesn't really need the defense buff to survive the damage. He probably opt for a cleanse here. I'm not sure if he's gonna defense buff on this turn at the most, but we'll see. Or maybe a blind on the S1. He does go for the cleanse. So he cleansed himself. Okay. Yeah, this I, I don't I don't see there's a big issue here. Even if Last Rider Crowd goes and then spec any Sobran into Doris, I don't think Doris dies. We have already damage mitigation from her own specialty change and then damage sharing on uh, FCC. So he doesn't choose to burn here. So he'll probably try to burst down the Rylet or the FCC. It's a risk if he goes for... Proof of Valor RB? Wait, did I see that right? I think I saw that right. Proof of Valor RB. Okay, with a Death Break though. So no additional damage. So now we know for sure. No Moonlight Dream Blade, so no attack buff. So now it's all in. So that gave that gave Malona the ability to see. Okay, I'm gonna go all in. RB. Once he's dead. And last rider crowd burned. So he does have two turns reduced for his next S3. Dual attack uh, with a stun. The stun is useful here. Uh, all the cleanses are out right now, so on their turn cycles. So no more provoking. But it's not like he can really provoke much. Molona with his tank in spay. Hey, I'm no judging here. I like the uh, I like the diversity so far I've seen. The players bring in very very different types of fights. It's very cool. Uh, that proof of valor did not proc. I didn't see it. I study so that I can help others. All right, so. So yeah, he's gonna try to burst down. I think FCC first then. But that Remnant Violet is stacking up, so even if, so if Malona triggers uh, like let's say a non-attack skill, Politis may, well, will hit Remnant Violet and it will give him full stacks. So it's free damage. So I think Malona knows this. So the Politis pick on this fight, outside of the F Cleary, maybe a counter reaction, 
is not super good. Yeah, you got, you got to stack off early. And a hit! Okay, so that's unfortunate. Definitely unfortunate for Ur. Because he needs that. He really, realistically needs the last Rider Crow to kill the Remnant Violet. So I think he's going to get this one. So FCC is dead on this hit. But then Remnant Violet roams free now. Oh, no crit? Okay, he still got to kill. Okay. Uh, Remnant Violet is going to be very dangerous here. Okay, so RB is totally gone. Has Tenny missed 4 crits so far? Okay, I did not see that. You shake off the, the blind, but I, I think right now it's very safe for Malona. And already assuming, of course, this is on a lifesteal set. 14,000 HP, okay. Yeah, I think unless Ur gets a very, very lucky hit, and even that, I don't think that can kill the Remnant Violet. Yeah, I, I do believe Malona wins this one. I also see Ur is battling with Red Bar, but I do appreciate him being here. It hit Rylet! Oh, okay, wait, 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 guys, it's not over yet. Last Rider Crowd gets the S3. It could be over for Malona. Okay, it is. I think it's over. I think it's over for Malona here. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, so, all right, good thing, good thing we don't have some kind of, uh, some kind of betting thing, huh? <laughs> All right, wow, okay. That Rylet, uh... Didn't dodge. <laughs> Rylet does not dodge when... When you need him to, and in that fight, it was almost over. It was almost over, he just need to hang on one more turn. Why you never pick Rylet? All right, guys, thank you for that one. Uh, let's get ready for round two. Here we go. Good luck. First one goes to Ur. So for Malona to stay in the game, he needs to win this one. Saving RNG. I'll show you how I do things. All right, first pick Last Rider Crawl. Okay, so la so blue crow versus last rider crow is very good because true damage and the last rider crow can't really quote unquote help himself from doing a lot of damage. So blue crow is a good reaction here. All right, so we're going ambitious Tywin. I sense no magic. Here. Doris is back, so Doris is very very good against RB. Paul is just a get okay. I personally felt that the polishes in the previous fight wasn't super influential in the match. Yeah, I, I think it got one stun. That was really clutch, I guess, but, but it's the same draft on your side. So now Melota gets a benefit of picking around it and knowing exactly what he does. All the heroes. Yeah, I think Politics was last la uh, dead pick last match. I, I do agree. Um, for just Falcon and Cleary alone, it's not su super big. But... So the SSB pick again. So the SSB probably is the Force ban here, and I think the Landy ban. No, I think he's going to take out the uh, Last Rider Crow. Yeah, let's take out the last Rider Crow. Yeah, that makes more sense. So we got the SSB and we got the Ambitious Tywin. So they don't have immunity. Um, and I think 
Right now, I think in the favor of draft, I think Malone has a stronger draft. And again, we know that RB is on a uh, proof. So no attack buff. So this should be pretty safe, so wonder if he would just go for it? Yeah, he probably has to. Pretty safe for Malona, that is. Yeah, so based on the turn rotation, um, even if he's so burnt- Okay, he's going for Tywin. So he knows that, yeah, once Tywin gets that turn, it's gonna be very, very tough for him to shake it off. It's not proof RB? It was proof last round. It, de it doesn't always show for some reason. I think it's a bug. So no, he can't kill Taiwan on this turn. Without the death buff coming in, so I'm not quite sure. I think Landy still kills, but... Two Arby's? Wait, does he have two Arby's? Yeah, I think the death buff is the play here, but I'm not sure if he's going to do that. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, so I think I think it's just a bug. It, it doesn't always show for some reason. Yeah, get rid of the Arby early. That was the play. And then it doesn't matter if uh, Ambitious Tywin dies here because he won't die to RB S3, but he will die to Landy's S3. Um, and then he gets revived, I'm assuming it's on Holy Sack, and then he gets the stun. So then it's RNG. And also, as wait, Spectani is death broken, so she's, she's most likely dead. Most likely dead straight to the uh, Ambitious Tywin S3. And then Crow is primed now, so... Yeah, I think this one is pretty clear on the winner. No RNG this time for Malona. No RNG this time, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. We stunned. No, that's fine. That's still fine. So right now it's all in Landy. Uh, SSB gets the tip. No, I think it's over. I think it's over. A Taiwan so balanced. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't help that there's holy sacrifice for knights, right? That really is. Ooh, 20,000 HP SSB. Oof. Tough. Yeah, no, there's not much you can do to make up for this one. Um Yeah, it's, it's a game. Good game, good game. So it's 1-1. One, one. Molona gets that one. Alright. So the last one decides the victor good, go uh, good game guys here we go holy sack landy <laughs> holy sack rb you know okay so the last rider crawl okay so malona wants to open himself up to not having to ban it So now Ur needs to, you want to try me? spec tiny first pick again. Let's see what other heroes Ur has ready for this. General Purgus. Falcon of Cleary. Wait. Wait, Malona has Sage Bolt all the entire time? Sage Bolt, I, I kind of prefer Sage Bolt into RB draft over Doors myself, but uh, player style. We got Tywin again. So now that he actually doesn't even have an immunity from Last Rider Crow, he has to 
either predetermined and banned the A Tywin, or has to start double drafting immunity or cleanse. Ruel pick is pretty safe here. Um, because we Malona doesn't have a lot of damage yet. But now it kinda gives a tell for for Malona to I think the Ruel last pick would have been a stronger one. Since Malona has the last two picks, but Politis again. SSB. So G Perg is banned right now. Yeah, pro- wait a minute. Yeah, it looks to be a G previous ban. Are we seeing Dark Corvus? <laughs> it's fine. All is fine. Oh no, Malona rely on Rylet again. I think he wants to- I think he wants to- You know it's kind of like you not getting that summon that you really want and you rage summon because you just have to prove that you have the luck. It could be that, but honestly right now I'm kind of- I'm curious about the Rylet pick here. Um, it's very bruisery though, so... Okay, so the Ruel, okay. That's okay, that's okay, because even though SSB feeds General Purgus, they expect any can't survive too long. So based on the 20,000 HP SSB, uh, Molona is very confident about that gear. But again, we have an issue with the uh, Rylet. Does he dodge this time? Oh, we got the- oh, wait, we got a death break here. So Remnant Violet S3 is- I I'm, sh I'm pretty sure it's one shot, depending on his damage, but- Based on the damage he did to the last Rider Crow, I think that Jump Progress is dead. And then SSB does. Okay, wait, 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 wait. And then, yeah, and, and solidify a bit more damage. Yeah, so Dark Corvus is not charged, and Malona even has a skill null coming, so. Right now, <laughs> I mean, I said this last time in round one. But I think, I think, I think Malona's got the upper hand on this this fight. He could try provoking. Like he got to provoke. He did. So yeah, he's got to finish off. He's got to finish off. I think General Purgus first, and then uh, Dark Corvus. Oh wait, it's pretty. It's pretty tanky. This one's pretty tanky. I would say Dark Corvus is a pretty strong one in this one. Um, outside of Falcon clearly getting a Soul Burn and s 3 him down. Um, because SSB keeps feeding Dark Corvus stack. Um, yeah, Riley didn't dodge again, yeah. That yeah, was reading the stream chat. <laughs> okay, so right here... Wait, he's gonna go for it. Okay, we gonna kill the FCC. It is on drink. And then S10E... He probably opt for stunning the S10E, I'm assuming here. Oh wait, he doesn't have the... Oh, never mind. He soul burned... Uh, he already used the S3, right? Provoked. Okay, Dark Horus is almost charged. Probably has a hit Politis or General Purgus here, but I think he's gonna opt for. Take uh. Yeah, once that Dark Corvus gets that charge, which he's gonna get here, that Rylet is dead. He has soul. Too dead. Okay, so this could be this could be a Dark Corvus solo. So he's gonna soul burn into the Rylet right now. I believe. He goes for F Clary. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I well, I'm not 100 percent sure this is over yet. Then. 
I'm not sure this is over yet. That is, uh, I believe that's a misplay, but we'll see. Uh, I see, I see. The flurry can solo DC with the provoke. Right, good point, good point. Oh, okay, yeah, wait, 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 yeah. Because if he crits here, he gets the stack, he gets Oberon. So, yeah, no, I don't think. Yeah, so I think he gets this one then. <laughs> Mamona! Yikes, get me out! <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, yeah, so yeah, I think it's over, right? This this one goes through I mean it's still 20,000 HP. But yeah, no, no, you're not gonna Good job guys. Good job. <laughs> this one goes through air. Uh good place. Uh we're gonna go back back to the uh the bracket. New meta. Hey, hey, you know what? Dark Corvus is actually a very strategic draft. Um, it was I, I I I miscalculated. That definitely was not a false play. That was definitely not a misplay. That was probably the better play. Good calculations. Y'all didn't understand the big brain alt on Cleary. Yeah, yeah, I, I I made a mistake. I thought that I thought that Malona would have had enough time to actually take him out. So next up we have uh, Kurushime and Vaxus.